Is your KD static? Are you not getting any better? Are you not breaking your PBs? Well, today I've got a video which might just be for you. So without further ado, let's get into the best ways to improve at Warzone in 2022. So the first thing on my list is actually movements. Now, I think movement is really probably one of the most important things in this game as knowing how to traverse the map and how to win gunfights really does come down to movement a lot of the time. Now, this could involve things like slide cancelling or even just hack sprinting or for the more advanced players, b-hopping, pre-aiming, pre-firing, and that sort of thing. Now, when you first start playing, things like sprinting are going to be pretty basic. However, you're going to want to start learning a movement system called slide cancelling, which looks something like this. I'll be playing it on screen now, and this just helps you to get around the map faster and evade more shots. It's very simple, but it does work, and I presume most of you are doing this by now, but if, you, if you're not doing slide cancelling, this is a great tip, and I thought, hey, I might as well include it just in case. Now, this is going to be a more gun-specific gun movement skill, but B-hopping, pre-firing, and pre-aiming all come into winning gunfights. So if you want to be winning a gunfight, it's more often when you swing a corner and you know a team is there. Pre-firing that corner and also pre-aiming that corner where you suspect they're going to be camping is going to win you because instead of having to rely on you and your reaction time shooting first, you can shoot before the enemy even knows you're there. Now, my second tip is aim. Now, if you're on control, you're going to be thinking, well, I can't really improve aim, so how is this tip going to be helpful to me? Well, you can. And for me, I do aim labs, but for you, it might be going into a Modern Warfare lobby and just playing with bots and trying to get headshots like swing corners and make sure you're landing headshots every time. But it's also very important to tune your sensitivity that's right for you. Now, as a mouse and keyboard player, I can only give you my sensitivity setup, which is a 5 in-game sense and 800 DPI on my mouse. However, for controller players, you might want to look at some other pro players and copy what they're doing, especially if they've got a similar controller to you. And this is just going to help you to settle in and land more shots. Now, my third tip is going to be pretty short as I've got another video coming up on this, but it's basically sticking to the meta and the loadouts. Now, you can have fun, you can use crossbows, you can use the X50, that kind of thing. Have a bit of fun, that's what the game is about. However, if you're really trying to improve, using the optimal guns is really important and it's annoying that they normally use the guns that are bundles in the store, however you just have to keep up with them unfortunately. Now if I br I'm going to briefly tell you the best ones now, which is the NZ41 and the Mark 5 or the H4 Blixen, and you can also use the KGM40 as your AR. However, I'm not going to run through all of the possible classes because I've got another video coming on that probably tomorrow, so watch out for that one. The reason that this is so important is because on websites like sim.gg or True Game Data, you can see that these meta guns, they have the fastest time to kill, and so if your aim's a little bit dodgy or your movement's a little bit dodgy, maybe you, using these better guns over your opponents, is actually going to win you the gunfight just because they are better guns. Now my third tip is where you're landing. So landing on this map is actually very important because that's the game, and there's a few main places that I'm going to recommend that you land, which generally result in higher kill games. This is going to be Beachhead, Arsenal, Peak. And then you, Storage Town's pretty good, however, because it's new, I've had good experiences there, but I don't know how it's going to play out in the long term. Then there are other spots like Fields, which are slightly safer, and Capital. Those places either have loads of people or not very many people. But with Beachhead and Arsenal and Peak, those sort of places, and airfields, you're generally guaranteed to have many teams there. Now my last tip is actually the pacing of the game. Now I do find myself, even still, kind of landing at places like fields, and there's not very many people there, and I'll be looting all these buildings, not getting very much money, not getting a loadout, not getting UEs, no bounties, and the kills really don't show. The pacing of the game is really important, so you want to be landing and you want to be out of your landing spot within about two minutes. You don't really have very long, so if you're trying to look for lots of money for UEs and loadies, you need to really pick your landing spots, which ties into my last point. You don't want to spend too much time looting. So if you're landing at Beachhead and you've got your money and you've got your guns, don't worry about not having the perfect guns. You've got decent guns. Go and send some people and you're going to get some money from them. So if you found any of these tips helpful and you're looking forward to the loadout, the loadout video tomorrow, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And if there are any other specific Warzone videos you'd like, let me know, let me know down below in the comments because I quite like Warzone. So if it's a movement guide specifically or a gun guide specifically, I'll be happy to make one of them. Just let me know down below in the comments. But thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.